So now in this video, we're going to use the capacitor while it's charging to make a voltage ramp. So the voltage will look like this. It will steadily rise over time. We're going to have one milliamp of current. I'm using the LM334. I covered that in the last video. It provides one milliamp of current to series components as long as the power supply voltage is high enough. And with a 1000 microfarad capacitor, that means for each second, as long as you're giving it one milliamp of current, it'll go up one volt, one volt per second. The switch lets us discharge the capacitor instantly, and then so when we release the switch, that's when the capacitor will start charging. So now, building it on the breadboard, we'll start with the uh, switch and move it up one spot there. There we have the uh, bottom of the switch to the negative rail, right there. Now up here, and the board really doesn't want the switch to stay in during these videos. Here is the LM334, the positive sides on top, negatives on the bottom, and the middle pin is the R pin for the resistor. So we're going to put the uh, positive voltage pin to the positive rail right there. And then negative here, when we close the switch, it will have a direct connection to uh, ground right there, even though it's on opposite sides there. The uh, top two pins are always connected, bottom two pins are always connected. When you press the switch, it connects all four pins together. The timing will be set by this 68 ohm resistor. And so that gives us a pretty spot on one milliamp of current, as we saw there. So it's going to the middle pin. I didn't zoom in uh, close enough in the uh, last video. And that time I zoomed in too close. There you go. It doesn't stay focused if you zoom in too close. So there we go, the middle pin, that's R, and then the V minus pin down there. That's what actually sets the current, is the uh, resistor, based on the component's properties. And we got the 1000 microfarad capacitor right here. And uh, so we're just going to put the uh, positive side to where the V minus pin of the current source is, and then the negative side to the negative rail. That means that'll always be either more positive or equal to the voltage that we have at the negative rail. It'll be equal when we press the button. It'll discharge completely. So now that brings me to my portable pocket oscilloscope here, DSO shell. There's a lot of versions like this. The seller that I bought it from is not selling it right now. Otherwise, I would link it on the uh, website. And uh, so let's see how that looks with the uh, lighting. And I think that looks better. So I'll turn the lighting down. But anyways. There we have, we have no voltage because we're not uh, connected to anything yet. Let's put the uh, black alligator clip that comes from the uh, cable up here. Capacitors, the clips usually latch on pretty good right there. So right now, there you can see that we are just shy of 8 volts. The power supply is set to 8 volts right there. So a little bit of voltage gets lost across the component the LM334. So I'm going to hit the button. You can see it suddenly uh, discharge. When I release the button, now you can see that it is charging. And it's charging in a straight line. That's the main thing. We have a steady voltage. And then now I'm going to try to pause it as close to a line as I can. But uh, there you can see we went up a little more than 7 volts. But it's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 seven lines there before we hit that point. So because we're using a 1,000 microfarad uh, capacitor, that's one one thousandth of a farad, and then one milliamp, which is one one thousandth of an amp, that gives us a volt every second. That's uh, one of the things about capacitors. If the current is steady, the voltage rise is steady. And so the higher the voltage of a capacitor, that means there's more charge put into it. And so right now it's fully charged as far as our about seven and a half volts go because we lost looks like about half a volt from the component once you get to the uh, voltage limit. So now there's no charge. The capacitor completely discharged and now it's a uh, building up charge. It's about halfway now, half the charge that it will have at the end and then now it's fully charged as far as this power supply can provide to it. So, in any case, that is the voltage ramp. If you want a steady rise in voltage, take a current source, 
and use that current to charge a capacitor at a steady rate. As its charge builds up at a steady rate, its voltage builds up at a steady rate. So I'll pop up some other videos. Make sure you check those out. Make sure you click, click like, subscribe, the bell, all that good stuff. I will see you in the next video.